Hello and welcome to evening prayer on this Sunday, the fifth Sunday of Easter, right in the middle of the month of May. Lovely weather as we uh, approach summer. Hope all of you have uh, been having, a, you know, enjoying the weather and, 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 and having a good life. <laughs> uh, our readings for today, beautiful readings, as always, beautiful readings, but... Uh, from the Acts of the Apostles, we see again how the church keeps growing exponentially under the uh, guidance of the apostles, Paul and Barnabas and the rest of them, uh, growth and spreading far and wide. The beautiful thing about the, the reading today is after they had uh, traveled far and wide and and had lots of success, even amid the persecutions that they were all facing. Um, something Paul said was uh, that they thank God for everything that he did with them. So they recognized their success, but the credit for the success was properly given to God. So it's a, a beautiful sentiment we hear from, from Paul today recognizing God's work through them in building the, the church. Our second reading today from the book of Revelation. Uh, this is chapter 21 of the book of Revelation. Uh, the, uh, and it's the, the end. That's, that's pretty much you know, closing in on the very end of, of the book of Revelation, and which is the, the end of the Bible the last of the books of the Bible. And what we see there in the reading is a conclusion, an ending, a happy ending, but an ending of the overall arching story of salvation at the very beginning in the book of Genesis. From the watery chaos, God created the universe. This is from Genesis, the watery chaos uh, is where God did his work and created order and beauty uh, out of this watery chaos, as it's called in the Bible. And then here at the other end, way over at the, uh, at the far uh, end of Scripture, we hear John in his vision saying that he saw a new heaven and a new earth, and then he says, and the sea was gone. Okay, the, the watery chaos at the beginning that God had changed into the uh, beauty and order and, and workings of the universe, now that he sees that, that water is gone. But see, it was, what's happened is, God took the disorder and dysfunction and ordered it. But then sin entered into his creation through our first parents, Adam and Eve. And we stirred up these waters again through sin. Death enters the world. And we introduced the chaos back into creation. And over and over again, God keeps reaching in and rescuing us from our ill-gotten <laughs> ways, okay, over and over again. And, you know, the, the, we see it with, the, with Noah and the flood and with, uh, uh, in Exodus, uh, Moses and the people, they're fleeing from Egypt and we see the water again uh, parting and allowing the, the, the Jews to, to escape, but then coming back over top of the Egyptians. But anyway, over and over again, this <coughs> watery chaos in which God did away with initially and created order out of it, and through our sinfulness, we keep trying to bring it back. We're so good at that uh, through our disordered lives but then here in the at the end of scripture 
a new heaven and a new earth, and the sea was gone. No more death, no more chaos, no more sin, uh, says in the subsequent lines in the book of Revelation that, you know, that there's no more weeping, no more sickness, uh, everything is just paradise. And that's the, you know, the at the end of Scripture. We see that eventually God's will and God's ways come to fruition and fulfillment, and we have an end to the chaos of sin and death. And then in our gospel today, Jesus gives us the roadmap. How do we how do we get there? How do we share in that? How do we attain this new heaven and new earth where there will be no chaos, no sin, no death, no mourning, no weeping? How? Well, the, the gospel today, Jesus is in the upper room with his disciples on the night before he died. This is at the Last Supper and before he goes out into the Garden of Gethsemane to begin his passion and his death. He says to them, I give you a new commandment. And then he says this, love one another. Love one another. And that he said, that's how you will be distinguished. That's how people will know who you are through your love. Love one another. Love has nothing to do with what we receive. It has everything to do with what we give. We see Jesus on the cross. He gave himself totally for us. That's love. And we're called to that, that same kind of love. We have to tend to one another, love one another. And that's the formula for reaching paradise or the new heaven and the new earth. You know, we, we look at the early church and I mentioned the, all of the persecutions and the martyrdoms that happened uh, throughout all of that. And, you know, we're, we look at all those heroic acts and we think, wait a minute, you know, I don't know if I can, I don't know if my faith is strong enough for me to, to be able to to happily, you know, give myself up for someone else. Well, maybe we don't have to be quite that heroic, but we can live a martyr's life every day when we make decisions to forego our own wishes, desires, wants, and tend to someone else's needs. A mother four children needing food in the house but you know she's shopping online in Zappos and there's a beautiful pair of shoes that she really loves and would love to buy them but she doesn't because she's going to go in and get groceries and, and everything that the kids need you know stuff for their school and so on and so on so they she gives up <coughs> A pair of shoes she gives up having something she wants you know a father working a couple extra hours of overtime even when he's tired so that his child can can be afforded speech therapy uh, which is not cheap you know or even uh, you know the, the the family you know mom and dad like to get away and and uh, you know have a have a weekend jaunt away from the kids and you know but uh, instead they uh, they pack the kids up and they do something that the kids want to do you know foregoing a golf outing or whatever and, and uh, taking in a, a little league game with the with the children uh, little things that we can do for each other that demonstrate love that self-giving and we have this promise of paradise awaiting us. Love one another. Take care of each other. And, you know, that's the formula. So let us pray today that we have um, 
the wherewithal to die to ourselves, to be martyrs, if you will, to have uh, other people's interests at heart and uh, live in such a way that this new heaven and this new earth that's promised to us uh, will have us as inhabitants once our earthly voyage is completed. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <coughs> The Lord is risen and is seated at the right hand of God. Hallelujah. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right. Your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power. Rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains. From the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his great wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, we ask you to give us victory and peace. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and King, we are already seated at your right hand. We look forward to praising you in the fellowship of all your saints in our heavenly homeland. The Lord is risen and is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia. He has rescued us from the power of darkness and has brought us into the kingdom of his Son. Alleluia. When Israel came forth from Egypt, Jacob's sons from an alien people, Judah became the Lord's temple. Israel became his kingdom. The sea fled at the sight. The Jordan turned back on its course. The mountains leapt like rams in the hills, like yearling sheep. Why was it sea that you fled? that you turned back, Jordan, on your course, mountains that you leapt like rams, hills like yearling sheep. Tremble, O earth, before the Lord, in the presence of the God of Jacob, who turns the rock into a pool and flint into a spring of water. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty God, ever-living mystery of unity and trinity, you gave life to the new Israel by birth from water and the Spirit, and made it a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a people set apart as your eternal possession. May all those you have called to walk in the splendor of the new light render you fitting service and adoration. He has rescued us from the power of darkness, and has brought us into the kingdom of his Son. Alleluia. Alleluia, our God is King. Glory and praise to him. Alleluia. Alleluia, salvation, glory, and power to our God. His judgments are honest and true. Alleluia. Sing praise to our God, all you his servants, all who worship him reverently, great and small. Alleluia. The Lord, our all-powerful God, is King. <coughs> Let us rejoice, sing praise, and give him glory. Alleluia. The wedding feast of the Lamb has begun, and his bride is prepared to welcome him. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Jesus offered one sacrifice for sins and took his seat forever at the right hand of God. Now he waits until his enemies 
are placed beneath his feet. By one offering, he has forever perfected those who are being sanctified. The Lord is risen, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen, alleluia, alleluia. He has appeared to Simon, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is risen, alleluia, alleluia. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you, says the Lord. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. <coughs> the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you, says the Lord. Alleluia. With joy in our hearts, let us call upon Christ the Lord, who died and rose again and lives always to intercede for us. Victorious King, hear our prayer. Light and salvation of all peoples, send into our hearts the fire <coughs> of your Spirit as we proclaim your resurrection. Victorious King, hear our prayer. Let Israel recognize you in her longed-for Messiah, and the whole earth be filled with the knowledge of your glory. Victorious King, hear our prayer. Keep us in the communion of your saints, and grant us rest from our labors in their company. Victorious King, hear our prayer. You have triumphed over death, your enemy destroy your, your enemy. Destroy in us the power of death that we may live only for you, victorious and immortal Lord. Victorious King, hear our prayer. Savior Christ, you were obedient even to accepting death and were raised up to the right hand of the Father. In your goodness, welcome your brothers and sisters into the kingdom of your glory. Victorious King, hear our prayer. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God, our Father, look upon us with love. You redeem us and make us your children in Christ. Give us true freedom and bring us to the inheritance you promised. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. A great night, everyone. A blessed uh, Sunday night. And uh, we'll face Monday tomorrow together. See you then.